It's IBC 2017 and Adobe has released a preview of Premiere Pro CC 2018. Before we get started, there's a link below to a Premiere Pro blog post that highlights all the new features coming to Premiere Pro CC 2018. We're able to give an in-depth look at some of the new features based on our experience with Premiere Pro CC 2018. So I highly recommend you click that link and check it out. In this broadcast, we're talking about the five features we are most excited about coming to Premiere Pro CC 2018. The first one is multiple open projects in Premiere Pro. This opens up a whole new world of workflow possibilities in Premiere Pro. For example, you'll be able to edit assets from one project directly into the sequence of another project. Multiple open projects in Premiere Pro will allow editors to seamlessly copy assets from one project to the next. And it's important to point out that this is just copying the references to that media. No media is actually being moved. There's a card right up there and a link in the description below where you can watch a video on multiple open projects in Premiere Pro. Go check it out. The second feature we're excited about coming to Premiere Pro CC 2018 is the new shared projects. Essentially what shared projects does is make Premiere Pro project files writable or read only. And it allows editors and their assistants and everyone else working on the local network to take ownership of a project file so that only they can make changes to it. Once they're done making changes or tweaks or what have you, they're able to lock the project and make it available to other users on the network to take ownership and begin making other changes to that project file. All of this shared project workflow begins with the new collaboration tab under Premiere Pro Preferences. From there, it's just a matter of toggling the little lock icon that's in the bottom left corner of the Premiere Pro interface. That's where you can make a project file writable or read only. Additionally, you can also create new shared projects right within an active project. And this is done in the new item icon in the project panel. If you wanna see more, there's a card right up there you can click or there's a link in the description below where you can watch Adobe's official video on shared projects. The third feature we're really excited about that's coming to Premiere Pro CC 2018 is the new immersive video effects and transitions. These new VR and 360 video effects are the byproduct of Adobe's acquisition of Metal's Skybox Suite. So these new immersive effects and transitions are really going to empower Premiere Pro users to create awesome VR and 360 video stories. The fourth feature that we're really excited about coming to Premiere Pro CC 2018 is the new responsive design tools in the Essential Graphics panel. And this comes in two flavors. There's Responsive Design Time and there's Responsive Design Position. Responsive Design Time allows Premiere Pro users to create complex title and motion graphics animations that adapt whenever making a ripple edit to the graphic clip. The key thing here is that you're defining the range of keyframes in a duration. Let's say your scale and position animation on your title is 10 frames long. You would want to define the intro duration to at least 10 frames. And what that does is pin all the keyframes within those 10 frames to the intro of the clip. Responsive design position allows titles and motion graphics templates to fit the demands of your project. One example where responsive design position is really gonna come in handy is when importing motion graphics templates into a different type of aspect ratio. So even if the motion graphics template was created in a 16 by nine ratio, it's going to fluidly and responsively adapt to say a square sequence. Click the card right up there or there's a link in the description below to watch Adobe's official video on responsive design time and position as well as a bunch of other improvements that are coming to the essential graphics panel and motion graphic templates. The fifth and final feature we're really excited about that's coming to Premiere Pro CC 2018 is more labels. Don't worry, all the weird and quirky colors and color names are still there, like cerulean and lavender, they're still there. There's just eight more of them to choose from, so there's 16 total. It seems like a very small thing, but I know lots of Premiere Pro users who are going to be excited about this. I've personally met many editors whose entire editing workflow is based on labels. You know, they color code types of shots, they color code whole scenes. So these 16 label colors really enhance the visual experience and editing workflow in Premiere Pro CC 2018. And those are the five features that we're most excited about that are coming to Premiere Pro CC 2018. We will see you this coming Thursday in the next episode of the Premiere Broadcast. Thanks for watching.